Today on Ramble On, Kojima divided over Uncharted. Twitch users make a boob of themselves. Titanfall 2, blah, 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 blah. Disney to infinity and beyond. Triple D Connect game and movie madness. Stick around, children. Stick around. Hello, welcome to Ramble On, episode 60. One, one is it? 61. 61. 61 with me, Aaron Hughes, Al Padre. But I've got 62 for some reason. Adam Goestank, absolute. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to make this full screen for us on the telly because it makes it easy for me to see. Yes, there we, go. we can now there see. We, go. we can now see everything. words and things. Yes. Uh, so. Right, we're going to abuse the news. We're going to abuse that shit. As usual. Uh, quite a lot to abuse, actually. Abuse it. It's going to be really abused. I've got four pages. Yeah. Four, four. Pages. Yeah, a lot of it's silly little things though, so I'll, they'll be quick. Right. Wow, wow, wow. Kojima. Oh my god, actual news for Kojima this time. Yeah. Not it's not really news, time. but it, it's sort of interesting, I suppose, but it doesn't mean anything. Um, <laughs> Again, <laughs> it actually Kojima. means nothing. Kojima means um, nothing. Kojima says um, if you like Uncharted and The Division, you'll like his game, yeah, but he's caught them. Really mad, yeah. Uh, I reckon. <laughs> well, when when because we mentioned it briefly before we come on, because I have to try and find some headlines. I reckon. Uh, do you know how he did a supposedly nine out of ten, or in some cases ten out of ten, uh, Splinter uh, not Splinter Cell, Metal Gear Solid no, yeah. game, where it was open world. Yeah. Uh, I reckon it's going to be open world, nah, with with other people. I think involved. he said it doesn't necessarily. It's not necessarily going to be open world. Well, it's, it's but yeah, bigger. He's only just started making it, really. He's 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 all hype. Yeah. He's, oh, what's he's Molyneux? He is. He's the Japanese Molyneux. He is. Yeah. Can't believe we didn't spot this before. I know. Hmm. But I mean, people will buy <laughs> anything with his name on. <laughs> I mean, it's like, how much does he actually do? as far as making the games. He's uh, a brand. I don't know, I don't know. I don't because know. when you have a look at the credits for uh, Metal Gear Solid 5, it goes well, he, on he, he for does about everything, 45 he? minutes. Because he shows it at every scene, doesn't it? At the end of every chapter, does his name not just pop up all well, the time? Yeah, well, you do each chapter, but if you combine all yeah. them together, it's about 45 minutes of credits, and his yeah. name only turns up as official producer, storyline. He doesn't write scripts. Yeah. He just goes, I want this. He says, I want a script. Oh. And make that look pretty. Make that look pretty. Um, so, yeah, it'll be a game. It'll probably be coming out. It will be a game. Um, it might not be. It might go a bit obscure. It'll be coming out on PlayStation 4. Wouldn't be surprised if PlayStation 4 exclusive. Because yeah, I Sony. I is it not, actually? I think it might be. Yeah. So it'll be a PlayStation 4 exclusive. Yeah. Uh, all the people who are have to sit in the PlayStation camp or an Xbox camp will be like, and this is another reason why you should get a PlayStation. For me, it's another reason why you probably aren't missing out if you don't get a PlayStation. Um, well, you'll believe it when the adverts come out, because that's oh, what yeah. everybody does. They'll yeah. jump on a game, and then after a, a few quick, weeks, Quick go, question then, because it's kind, kind of related, because you mentioned Uncharted. Are you convinced that Uncharted is going to be a 10 out of 10 game? And no. Another, another question, caveat to that, um, we've already said many times before that uh, Uncharted, be good. Games, Uncharted games are good, but they're a one and done. Yeah, um, it'll, it'll do probably reckon, be the best one. Do you reckon that a game should be scored ten out of ten if it is a one and done? Uh, I don't know. I, I think it kind of depends because it did have to be. I think it depends. I think you could have a one and done game if it was fucking amazing and flawless, but. It can't be a 10 anyway, nothing could be a 10. Well, nothing could be a 10, a 10. But, but like with something like Last of Us, but, but that might that might be a bit different because there's no real reason to go through that again other than you love it. So obviously but people love Uncharted say, and they'll go, I'll go through that again. You've got your online as well, you've got your online or Uncharted. Yeah, and you have got Last of Us yeah. as well. Um, but yeah, so, so I, I'm not know. too sure, I can't... It's what I've done for me because I don't care about online. Yeah, well, I, I reckon it'll be, it'll be a good game. Uh, I think it'll be too many cutscenes. Oh, Manor at Sea, gaming. But uh, yeah, it was just a bit weird. It was just a pop phone mm. that popped into my head. Yeah. Obviously, uh, associated it with that. Uh, I don't want to play it, but I just want to rent it. I can't find a quick way to do that, though. No, no. <laughs> uh, Star Wars. 
Battlefront. Battlefront. They're doing another one of them. Well, that comes as no surprise to anybody with the Next brain. year, yeah. Next year, but it's going to have the new movie that's coming out. It's going to have stuff from that in, obviously. Yeah. But, I mean, if they put a single-player campaign, I'm right. They will be. I mean, they're adding it, aren't they, anyway, to uh, a sort of single-player aspect to uh, the one that's currently out. But, again, you need season pass to get it. Yeah, yeah. it's just um, it's bollocks, in it? That. So, yeah, they'll learn from that mistake, because to EA, but there's no reason for them to fix the one that they have. But they've lost some... I mean, they pro- they'll have sold a fuck ton. Oh, I did. An absolute fuck ton. But... There's people I know who've bought it. I would have bought that game. game. I would have bought that game if it had a, a reasonable, even if it were just five hours of summer. Yeah. I mean, I would have rented it. But, you know, yeah, well, it would have been summer. I had, I had some fun with the beta, but the thing is, is it was still a bit heavy. Really fucking heavy. Mm. Um, for my liking, it were a bit too much. And there's not enough to unlock in it. Um, because... Because the weapons of Star Wars are very, 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 very limited. Extremely yeah. limited. I mean, you know, unless they start chucking lightsabers at you, and, and then if you start chucking lightsabers at you, then it sort of undermines the well, heroes. people get pissed off as well, thinking you'd have to invent new stuff, mm. wouldn't you? Well, they'd be this, like, well, that's not in a movie, or that's not in this, and it get a bit... Well, this, that's the it's thing, supposed to be very pure, you, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly, because you're messing around with uh, Allure. Um, I watched a video about uh, Battlefield 1, Sort of, you know, it's yeah. still the same topic thing. And uh, somebody were, were complaining, like, yeah, but there weren't many weapons in World War One. There weren't many weapons. Well, I, I watch, I watch some stuff. I like my firearms, as, as you well know. Yeah. And um, I watch a, a YouTube channel, my which mind. I highly recommend anybody who's into the firearms to go and check out. It's called Forbidden, uh, Forgotten Weapons. Mm. And there was hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different types of rifles and firearms in World War One, because there was shit on that were just being developed as it got up to World War One, and then they were developing stuff for after, but obviously what happened was they only had the limited runs of these guns, but these guns still got to got to the battlefront, they all mm. got got out and they're all, all being used, so when people start going, oh, this, uh, this, this one particular guy was going, yeah, but there's just going to be bolt action rifles, there's going to be an American one, a French one, you know, about six and M, and then there's six machine guns, it's, nah, it's not much, but there is hundreds of weapons mm. that were used in World War, yeah, so in World War I. It's reasonable so, to So find I think that's that reasonable to find. The, the thing is, is like, as I said before, the aeroplanes seemed a little bit overused, but it's a game, so you're there for fun. But yeah, so... I still want to chuck bricks on them, like you were saying last week. Yeah, yeah. I think you can still make it work. Yeah, that would um, be tough. If you could be bothered. But, uh, but yeah, sorry, Star Wars, so... Yeah, let's... Um, actually, I'm looking forward to the second one of them. Well, because that's the where first they should one was be smooth. smoothing shit out. Yeah. And it's simple because of how beautiful it looks and how amazing it sounds. Yeah. It just needs that single playerness for me. Yeah. That's it, really. I mean, I think they're always going let, to let you down with... Uh, hello, Pash. Um, they're always going to let you down with um, the narrative because it's like, ah, I wanted to play this, this, this. I would love them to buy the rights or talk about getting the rights to uh, Shadow of the Empire, which was an N64 game. Yeah, yeah. Which was only like... like a re- re- reasonably short game. I really enjoyed that game on N64. I fucking loved it. Yeah, uh, yeah. That I was th- the first one that I, we had these um, snow speeders and you took out yeah. the uh, ATATs. Uh, Americans like to call them AT- ATs. It's ATAT. Um, so, what they should do is they could take that, put that as a campaign, yeah. u- using the maps that they've got as multiplayer maps as yeah. that, and then. Then you've got a narrative that's already there. It's also like basically how everybody loves to do a fucking reboot. But yeah. Because you know, reboot. It's updated physics. It's all this. It's using yeah, the game it, engine. Make it do Bang. it properly. Make it fucking yeah. amazing. Like the Resi remake. Make it like. Well, it'll look. It's, it'll, it'll be all in the graphics. Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, uh, in the that style. Engine yeah. and everything. It's just that. But I think that, that game like, doesn't hold up too much. But no, no, it doesn't nowadays. But if you've seen those new mechanics using that physics and, and stuff, you'd be right, physics, wouldn't it? It'll, it'll yeah. be amazing. Be right. It's a story that's already been there. It's another way of save them a lot of money as well. Shit ton of money. And you can add that to your bullet points. Yeah. On the back of the box. Shadow, uh, uh, Shadow of the Empire, fucking Shadow remastered. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Well, it's, new it's releases. Supposed to be a bit of a. Um, right, more titty about. news. Okay. Titty. titty news. Well, it's not always titties, is it? Sometimes it's vagina. Sometimes it's. Uh, Wife beating. 
Sometimes it's wife beating. Possible rib. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to cover all kinds of Twitch news here. Uh, but this is more, more boobies. So a girl accidentally showed her boobies. Accidentally, fuck off. No, people keep saying this was accidentally this time, and I'm like, how do you accidentally do that? You I'm going to accidentally show my bollocks. Oh, this was so... It was ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> they're saying, right, that... No, she didn't realise the camera. It was like four of them right. on the camera, and she was on someone else's channel, and they were just doing like four of them, just, just playing a game or something, like that. And um, she thought her camera was off, so she sort of stretched up, and her, and her tits flew out. Mm. Right? And then she, everybody's saying, yeah, and she was understandable that. She was like, oh my God, and you can tell with her reaction that she didn't expect that to happen and stuff. Maybe. But how do you accidentally get your tits out and... I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's a very... He's fallen out with you, the guy who shot on it was on. Oh, damn you. You've given me an extra 100,000 views. Oh. Yeah, well, he's been banned for 30 days, but it doesn't really matter, I suppose, matter. if you're getting some more hits. And more, you get more famous from it, don't you? It won't surprise me if he gave her 20 quid and said, just get your tits out, baby. Yeah, that's, the, that's the thing, you know, you, you, you try, you try, you try, you try, nobody it's, sees you. I know being a bit up. conspiracy-like, but no, I don't but know, it, it, it just seems It's so. happened too much recently. I know the news always does that, like, when you watch, um, like, normal news, like BBC News or Human summer. news. Human news. Um, if a bus crashes or summer and loads of people die in it, for the next month, there's buses How crashing. safe are buses? There's, but there's buses crashing yeah. everywhere. They, they will find them buses. So now everybody's like, because it's yeah, a thing. They're it's, finding the... It's kind of trending. It's trending, yeah. So they do like a trending thing, really. Yeah, but I wouldn't be surprised if, like you said, they've actually paid somebody to do this kind of shit. Because, I can really imagine because it. Because all the way back when that guy got caught wanking and there were 100,000 views, mm. that was, like, not the first time it's happened. It's probably happened quite a few times of these kind of accidental slips and stuff like that. But this, obviously, this relatively big... YouTuber, a uh, uh, Twitch streamer, accidentally got caught knocking one out. Then he got a hundred thousand, uh, hundred thousand new new um, followers. Then people, I think, are accidentally on purpose trying this yeah, well, kind of shit. Flash reckons we're going to accidentally do a helicopter dick. Yeah, <laughs> you'll pay to see that. Prove it. Prove it. Uh, donate button, Patreon. <laughs> it's all there, my friend. Uh, if, it, if, it'll be a personal oh, performance. Wait, oh yeah, you do. Yeah. Okay. Fuck. Oh. Shit. Um, uh, but it'll be a personal performance, so we're gonna have to come round after this, and that'd be awkward. Get, to yeah. Please get your kid out of the room. Oh god, yeah. Twitch streamers of <laughs> youth child. Eighteen thousand views. <laughs> Bam for thirty days. Yeah, banned for thirty days. <laughs> uh, right. Anyway. Witcher 3, so did you get the DLC for that? I got one of the uh, DLCs, yeah. I still haven't finished it yet. Oh, we're enjoying it. It's not the fact that I didn't like it, I haven't finished it. I had, had to move house and then other things. Other, and other children shit. and yeah, and all craziness. that kind of stuff. Great right. craziness, yeah. There's, um, so there's a new one of them, uh, Blood and Wine, mm -hmm. but they've, it's going to look better than the game. They've rebuilt the whole thing, they've changed all the it's shit. It's going to look better than the game it's in. Yeah, it is. It's, wow. a, it's just a That's different. A Engine. They built it from the ground up again just right. to make wow. it right and look pretty. So people are like, well, yeah, but is the Xbox version, the PlayStation version still going to be like that? I'm like, yeah. Because you'll be able to go right up to walls. Oh, fucking, you see, the Project Red are awesome. Yeah. They're really good. So you, I mean, I think it was pretty anyway. It's fucking stunning. Yeah. It's definitely it doesn't look as good as what they first showed. No, it doesn't, that, but, but, but it wasn't a million still, miles away it from it. It still looks fucking it wasn't, good. It wasn't the difference between uh, uh, Watch Dogs and then the release no, of Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs was but, ridiculous, I mean, the yeah. thing is, is that this is where it's hard work. You're on the uh, on the, the Game Awards group. Go and join that if you're not already in it. Yeah, uh, check, check the Game Awards. Uh, the Witcher 3 and Star Wars. Um, I think I voted for Star Wars. No, I haven't. I voted for Witcher 3 as far as best, uh, best visuals are concerned. I think um, so, yeah. I think I did. And... The reason being is, if you just look at Star Wars as it is, it's it's a closely encapsulated areas, and they do look fucking unbelievably oh, stunning. God, yeah. Probably more realistic if you got down to grey in the detail than Witcher 3. But what makes Witcher 3 so fucking beautiful is you can stand up on the mountain and look at another mountain, yeah. and it'll look beautiful, and you can get to that it's mountain. It's massive. And it's, it's gorgeous. It's yeah. absolutely fucking stunning. You can go and piss on that tree, yeah. on that hill. I love it. That was DLC, then. Yeah. DLP. Yeah. That's right. And download <laughs> this. <in. laughs> um, so we've seen a few of these, but uh, there's a guy that's, uh, you know, with a, 
he's got a his leg missing and he's got a prosthetic leg yep. and, he, and he's pimped it basically he's done like a Zelda Wind Waker thing sweet so I, I'm still getting sold on getting rid of my leg and just yeah, uh, just pimping it he's a, becoming Bionic Adam there's a, there's a name Bionic for Jew oh, I used to know the name for it people but body, body dysmorphia people yeah, the, yeah, who yeah. feel like I don't think this limb <laughs> yeah. belongs to me yeah. is that what it does it's attached to your hips <laughs> and you've been using it to walk for a while <laughs> but, uh, but yeah it's a proper uh, medical condition people do actually get uh, body augmentations to remove limbs from themselves right well I get them um, like a full on master sword well I'd have an <laughs> Iron Man arm Iron Man arm there'll be no left of us because we'll keep thinking a bit so we well, get rid I, of I like uh, Shadow Run's fucking ace Cyberpunk all the way and a Terminator leg on this side yeah I'd have, I'd have my eye set to a HD camera and I'd have a USB slot in my neck so I can actually connect my phone to it and use it as pairing and then next time I do a stream from uh, from Retro Games Night I'll just have a mirror in front of me so we are catching me doing commentary <laughs> and then I can walk around the Retro Games Night like yeah about that they'll freak your kids out What about when you go for a piss though? <laughs> <laughs> oh, or I might slip out like that Whoop. Oh, oh there you go. 100,000 <laughs> I accidentally Accidentally switch streams Going for a week. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, Titanfall 2 uh, <laughs> is confirmed for the fourth, uh, fourth quarter release, uh, end of the year basically. Respawn. It's going to have some single player in, which is good for me. Oh, I did no. want to jump in them max and do some crazy shit. Um, probably another rented for me though. Um, you, can, you can technically play it single player anyway. Because it's 90% yeah. bots that you fight against. Well, it's because I want like a, a story. I know they've mm. sort of they've got a bit of one, but I think it's supposed to be a bit bollocksy. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I, I don't know. I weren't, I weren't massively sold on it anyway. I was like, right, okay, this this is being sold. This is being advertised to the Call of Duty and uh, the Halo multiplayer uh, the learning, fraternity. The learning. Everybody's learning that they all went like, let's get rid of campaign mm. and let's just be online. Yeah, they were all going that way. And now they're slowly going back and going, actually, if we get single player in, then other people like me might, might buy, buy it, it yeah. as long as it's single player. Well, that, that was the thing, it was, it was absolutely yeah, stupid. Whammy. Well, the thing is, to segregate any kind of market when, you, when you're doing this kind of stuff, yeah, it's yeah. stupid. It's like, if we just did Twitch stream, and that's it, even though we don't get that many YouTube videos, yeah, so, yeah. You know, we don't have many, well, we have quite a few visits to the site, to be fair. Um, like we wouldn't, it, it's sort of like segregating the market. It's like I'm saying, we well, know YouTube is, is useless, but we get a few more views from that. We have a few more views. It's just stupid. Yeah. So it's saying online only, unless unless it is just a multiplayer game. But then again, it needs to be free to play if you're going to be doing online only. Yeah. And it should be download only. Mm. If you're going to do an online only game. Mm. Make it download only, which means you don't have to fork out the cost of putting it on the disc. So you don't accidentally buy it. Like when I you did don't know. Division. Yeah. Like a division. Can you imagine it's like a mum going in as well. Yeah, I mean, you've course. done it and you know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. Well, you can imagine a mum going and buying it. Because I picked up the box from the bottom of the box and I'm reading the back of the box on the front of the box and it doesn't say anything. But I removed my hand and it says online only. In a Although some thing, mothers are gamers. So. Yeah, some mothers are gamers. <laughs> I'm not being um, But yeah, so if you're going to do an online only game, it should be digital download only and it should be at a reduced cost because putting it into disc form and sending it out when it needs to be online only, this is pointless. They're all, they're all going back, they're retracting. They're retracting. Yeah. They're getting the single player back in. They're trying to not bullshit us again and now about co op well, in yeah. games. What and they're doing they're is. They're aware of it. They're, 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 they've had the traps. And we're all familiar with the traps now. Yeah. So now what they're doing is they're now trying to entice us in with a bit of cheese. Yeah. And it's like, look, oh, no, this this one's different. That doesn't look like a trap. It's not as shiny and metal as the other one. Yeah. It's Can't not the usual cheese. Then we'll go over. To. Everybody will get used to it. We'll all be sat in these cages going, look, mate, back away, back. Away. This is a trap. No, seriously. <laughs> Time fall two. No, I said campaign. No, it's a trap. Seriously, mate. It's online only. Your campaign only lasts an hour. Really? Yeah, but I haven't. No, don't do it. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away from this trap, and then after everybody's all fucking done. When they've it, all bought it, uh, and then people will all be trapped in this trap, going, "We're not doing that again." Then they'll change it, make change it two it. hours. Make it two hours. Oh, right. A uh, bit of a rumor. Um, oh, rumor bit of rumor yeah. in this one, but I don't know. Feasible, I suppose. So Lionhead Studios was closed. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and apparently, uh, it would seem 
there's a chance, because it's a rumour, that Microsoft um, wouldn't um, sell it. They wouldn't sell they, the rights to they wanted Fable. To sell it. Well, they wanted to sell the studio without the rights to Fable. But when they said you're not getting Fable, nobody, nobody wanted it. to buy it. Yeah. So that's the only game they do, though. Shuts it, yeah. So it does that's make like, you think maybe they like won't make another to sell hit. McDonald's and then going, yeah, but you don't have the rights yeah. to any of our burgers. I mean, that's... But I want to buy McDonald's. That's what they do. They do fair. Well, I mean, doing. what are you buying? You're buying fresh air, then, aren't you? There's probably a couple of little things, but well, you, you're fair, buying the staff. Is what you're doing. Yeah, well, and then you don't need all, that many. They're all getting laid off anyway. Yeah, <laughs> you don't need that many. That, that many staff are making fable. So you take away fable, then you only need probably one person just to do well, whatever well, other shit. Just doing. wait until they all get sacked, and then you can pick them all up for next to nothing anyway. Because yeah. you're like, right, you want a job. Yeah, and that's what they'll do. Yeah. So if you're not getting fair, you know, then... like uh, like what Sony did with uh, Evolution Studios. Yeah. And then and they all I said, off. So, so Codemasters will have them. Show me against it. Bang. Codemasters went. Well, all right, because Codemasters would have been aware. There would have been there would have been talk about them being shut down. It wouldn't yeah. have just been like a. Uh, uh, Oh, shutting them down today. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? I, I, have, I have kids. No, it would have been a sore build. They would have been starting. It would have been obvious to them inside, but they would have been paid to shut the fuck up about it. But it does mean that they've still got they've fable. still got fable. Yeah. So they might make fable. We can't worry about. They might make fable. They'll they they get, they get a different studio because it's too. great franchise, isn't it? It you is. Know? It's a great possibility. Yeah, it's for this generation to do. Let's say they do a retelling of one, two, and three, but completely linear, mm. so it's not a jumping of timescales. Or maybe you do, you play like sort of a newer version of one, and then like if you've had a kid or you have, yeah, the, when you, you carry it through, you have yeah. to have a kid. Uh, you have to have a kid. Now that is randomly generated whether yeah. it's male or female. The second game will be playing as your kid grows. Yeah, like sort of a massive so effect. Yeah. yeah, but it yeah. should carry all through. Yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. And there you go. You might actually play a game where you're completely female or completely male. I but think that's going to happen. Be random, and that's going to happen. That's what we're going to get. And we're going to have that. Show me games in it. <laughs> Show me games in it again. Uh, so another rumor. Um, I can't remember why, but there's Prey Two, maybe E3. There's a lot of talk about that. Really? Yeah. Just thought for a couple of them. Uh, Prey Two looked like Miss Griffin Bounty Hunter. The original videos, go and have a look at the original videos, the trailers for it, uh, look really, really impressive, but that was it, they were trailers, and and the stuff that they were showing were super high-end PC-style graphics, mm. saying that it was gameplay, and the, I remember there were PC gamers going, yeah, but my gaming rig, we, we can't you probably play a short level like that, but you can't have an entire game rendered at that right, right. definition. Right, right. So, so, I mean, Prey 1... Eh, mm. uh, but Prey 2, you're a bounty hunter and you're going round and you don't remember seeing trailers for it. So it looked, Vaguely. looked pretty cool. Vaguely. But yeah, that, well, that got cancelled a while ago, so now it's back on. Possibly. It's I a rumour. I think that were in Software that did that. And it's Software rumor. owned by Bethesda now, and I think Prey, at the time, came out uh, under... 2K games and 2K and Bethesda, I think, have split a, gone gone apart from each other. So, I'm not, not too sure. We shall see. We'll, we'll be covering see. the three shit. Yes, we'll be games anyway. So, possibly with a, a few more people. Yes. Yeah. My house is going to be full, and hopefully, I've got an understanding girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me uh, let me do all that shit. Okay. Um, Right, Disney is killing Disney Infinity. Um, Didn't last long, did it? I'm shutting down the studio. At least what what Disney are doing there is they're giving us an actual measurement of time for Infinity. Well, now we know what Infinity is. Exactly. It's a few years. Yeah, a year. Yeah. Two couple years. Of, couple of games and a lot of toys. Yeah, two, two years, eight months. <laughs> that's what Infinity Couple is. Couple of average games. I love you, <laughs> Infinity Plus 2. Oh, brilliant, that's only five and a half years. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I thought they were making a lot of money on that, so I don't really understand it. I think they're also outsourcing their games now. They're not going to make games themselves oh. anymore. They're going to let other people do it. Which probably means they'll be shit. Well, not really. I mean, they outsourced the Star Wars game to EA. 
That's true. Uh, and yeah, then, that is true. You know, yeah. the outsource. Yeah, they've um, probably seen the money they've made on that and how that's worked out. They're like, well, why are we bothering? Why have we got a studio? Yeah. Now? When they have a studio, they have ultimate control. You're like, right, okay, you've got ultimate control. But the problem with that is you're hiring people, and if you're not producing anything, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of wages you're paying for no good fucking yeah, reason. You need the talent there, um, don't you? That's how I mean. They, they, it, yeah, uh, know what they're doing. Most of the Marvel games are actually Lego games at the moment, so you know they. That's a Lego game studio, that. that oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And stuff like that. So, so they're doing it anyway, so well, yeah, it makes sense. It, it does make sense. Uh, another dead thing. There's a lot of mourning going on. Uh, Project Spark yeah. is, uh, is dead. Well, well, it's not yet, but it's going to be shut down after the 8th of December this year. That's the Xbox One playground thing, isn't it? Yeah, I yeah. I play with it. I just found, <laughs> found the uh, snide ways of... It's, it's free to pay, play. Well, they changed it to free to play. I think it will last. No, it was free to play, but it's you, you only got a certain set of tools, and well, then I, you had to buy yeah, everything, everything else. Now. Well, I don't know how it works because they, I know they changed it to free to play, not like a few months back or something. Right, it was weird. completely and utterly free. So it might have been more. I think you probably I shit know. on the bricks there. It should have been completely free yeah. from the off, but they were obviously trying. Uh, I think I, I think that were already finished and in uh, in programming and in development before Phil Spencer took over at Xbox. Yeah, it will have been definitely because uh, it was out pretty quick. It, it? it was it was a launch title. It yeah. was a launch DLC uh, game, and I did play some other people's levels and stuff. And you, you can make some games on it, and some people and have done in there, Conquer game in there. Yeah, somebody yeah somebody made all that. It nice was a pro- it was a new Conquer game, but it was. In that engine, yeah. so it wasn't a proper new cock again. Yeah, it was. It was, it was a it, bit of a. I think they were trying to get it going again, yeah, weren't they? Were a lot of people were doing some really good stuff with it, and there was some nice. I, I pissed around. I made a few stuff, but like I say, I was limited because I wasn't. I wasn't willing to pay a fiver for a crow, and then a fiver. <laughs> Because you don't buy them in packs, you buy them as individuals. Right, right So it's like, right, I want well. that crawl. I was like, right, I'll have a crawl there. Because I think I was trying to do like this Nordic fucking thing, obviously. Mm. <laughs> um, and I need crawls. You need crawls if you're doing Nordic thing. Yeah. Because like Odin's attached to it anyway. Um, so I'm like, right, I want, I want, I want a crawl. All right, so it's like, right, five pounds. I'm like, fuck that. Let's have a look at the hero selection. So it's like, bog standard human, bog standard male, bog standard woman. Uh, 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 Alright, shit. Oh, there's a fucking Viking one. How much is that? Ten pounds. What the fuck? What mm. the fuck? So, when you finally make this game that you're never going to recoup money on because you don't sell the levels in the games that you create, you could have spent 500 quid. And if nobody down, it's a bit like. If you imagine Mario Maker, Mario Level Maker, where you yeah. had to pay for all your fucking assets, uh, and then if skin- nobody downloaded your level, yeah. it's like, what well, have I paid for? Yeah. So that's sort of what that, that, that but, was about. Yeah, so they changed it, the track, they made it free to play, and then, but I apparently, I don't know how far this goes back, but they're giving, they're offering refunds, yeah. Right. The, um, so if you bought it, or, it, I think there's a disc version of it, actually. I yeah, there was eventually. Or downloaded yeah, it, was, it. It came on a bundle with uh, some, some other indie games. And stuff. You'll get money into your account. Um, I don't know how far back that goes, though. Yeah, well. I'd want, I don't know. I don't know. I can understand... Yeah, I don't know. It just yeah. will it go back all the way from from dot? It should do because will like you get your fiver for the crow some, bank. Some, some, if, you're, <laughs> if you're somebody who really loved it and you were banging through levels, banging through levels, you bought the game like, forever, haven't you? It's yeah, a game. Yeah. It's forever. Mm. You should get your money back. Yeah, definitely. You fucking better, or it's bullshit. Mm. There's a new Connect game. Apparently, this is meant to be like a triple D rating. It's a game. triple D. So if game. A is your upper echelon, B should be higher, shouldn't it, because it's the next one, and C, oh, yeah, don't worry, I am. Depends how you look at it, yeah, yeah well, but it doesn't really, no. No, because A is meant to be top, isn't it, like number yeah. one. Because that never made sense to me, because number ten is surely higher than number one. Because when you start at number one, and then you yeah. work up to number ten. Yeah, but, like, yeah, why do people just go one way, but it can go anywhere? This is number one, so this is the first. Well, every time I make something for the first time, it's usually shit, and the tenth time is better. I think that's why golf better. confuses people. Yeah. Because when you've got, like, plus summer, I think you're doing well. Yeah, but you're doing shit. But you're doing shit. Mm. So life, uh, life is very tri- confusing. Triple D-rated Connect game. Yeah, I mean, it might be all right, but it, it, I mean, it can't be. It's a Connect game. It's now, they don't make so many of these anymore, obviously. Um, good, and you, good, can, good you can buy them for £100, I think they are, stills. Or just get them second hand for 30 quid. I, I think. give Chris the fur broderick, man. 
Right, but they... And he repaid me by doing a review for Darksiders. <laughs> anyway, um, it's called Kung Fu Swipe. It's a side-scrolling beat'em up, which we like. So the connect, where's that involved? Well, you're sort of doing weird pauses. I don't know. Like, if you're not moving like that, nothing's going to happen in the game, I imagine. I, well, they should <laughs> you do. Go like, is they should release something? Rise. Yeah, that was supposed to be a Kinect game, weren't that it? That was originally a Kinect game, um, and it looked top because you stood there and you had your, you had your Gladius and you had your shield, and when they attacked, you blocked and it was like really blatant, and then you could kick and you could headbutt. I think it's kind of like um, that in this. But, so, but the side scrolling does be nothing because yeah. I don't feel as though I'm part of it. You'd have to be like this and looking at screen. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. But it it looks mad. Yeah. Like silly. So I, I it might be a good dick around. I wouldn't be surprised if Microsoft Games forgot they funded this. No, it's it's a Finnish. Um, yeah, but, he, but yeah, they might give them some Microsoft money. Microsoft yeah, paid yeah. everybody who makes Kinect games, they paid everybody to yeah, make them. Yeah, you probably get that encouragement. So I wouldn't be surprised yeah. that they give them this, and they sat there in the background going, you know, we're making this game, we're in Finland, we're making this game. Hey, Microsoft, we finished the game. They've got like, oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Connect? What's where, Connect? Where are these? Oh, books? Connect! Who's been looking at books? <laughs> I'm looking at books. Where are you going to find this? <laughs> Oh shit, you're on page 100. No, yeah. yeah, fucking hell. Fight. Right, we'll have to release this. I think they'll have forgotten thing, they then. even had Connect. The, the I think they had. I, think yeah. they, I honestly think the reason why it's so late and everybody's already written fucking Connect off is yeah. because they forgot they funded it. You've got Just Dance on there, but that 2016, but that doesn't yeah, but count that's, that's because it's on everything. Yeah, that's on everything. On everything but, yeah. but I think they've, honestly, I think they completely and utterly fucking forgot that that, that had been funded. Yeah, that'd I be funny yeah. And they've gone like, shit, we need to we need to kick this out. Um, uh, you predicted that, didn't you? Uh, I predicted what? Sorry, I missed this. It might be a while back. We haven't been keeping up, have we? Sorry. Yeah, we've got a bit overexcited. Must make a point in doing that. <laughs> predicted the death of uh, something or other. I predict everything, though, don't I, really? Yeah, so. if you predict the everything, Oh, eventually. yeah, the review, yeah. Of course I was going to get Darksiders review. Okay, what's next? <laughs> right, uh, movie madness. Movie right. madness. Madness so, moves. My favourite name in the world, uh, Tatsumi Kimishima. Kimishima. As I like to call him, because he's my mate. Or uh, Kimishima, uh, who's the, Kimishima. the Nintendo president, who's, who's getting out and about a bit more lately. <laughs> Coming out with things. A bit like Kojima, but... Less annoying. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and he actually says something that's interesting, usually. And uh, it probably will be made. Yeah, yeah. So he says, we're looking into doing movies. We want a, a Nintendo movie, you know, don't yeah. know what it'll be, could be anything. Um, it also needs to come out within the next three. Well, that's kind of what stopped them doing it, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that's what stopped them doing movies to begin with. But yeah. I think they've got a taste for it now because they, they had uh, like Bowser and, and a few in the. Um, uh, Wreck it Ralph, Wreck it Ralph yeah. and um, Mario, uh, Donkey Kong in um, Pixel, Pixels, yeah, Pixels, Pixels, yeah. which so, wasn't a bad Adam Sandler movie. It's not the greatest. Yeah, if, if you like, just, just go into yeah, it knowing yeah. it's going to be shit. It's an easy you'll, watch. You'll yeah. enjoy yourself. It's an easy watch. Don't be judgmental on it. Yeah, it's, no, it's, it's, it's good it's, shit. It's good. It is good. It's got Pac Man in it and Donkey Kong. Cool. Yeah. Um, and Peter Dinklage. So yeah, he's open. Uh, he's he said it's not set in stone, but that's what we want to do. Yeah, well... He's looking into it. And uh, he also said um, we also want it in-house as much as possible because they're very controlling well, over the characters, are The thing they? is about, about making video game movies, the reason I feel like a lot of game movies in the past didn't work so well was um, a lot of the people writing and directing them I mean, I'm, this is a vast generalisation here, so I do yeah. apologise if somebody is what nobody watches it. Um, <laughs> going, oh, I fucking wrote this down. I'm big. Is the fact that like, we're in our thirties now, we've been gaming all our lives. Mm. Now there'll be people now, our age, 
in the movie industry yeah. as screenwriters that yeah. have been gaming all their lives. All they yeah. would have known is Zelda. They'll be and the ones like, right, we need to annoyed. write a good, yeah. a good Zelda game. Yeah. Yes, we can't go down this route because that yeah. would piss me off. I love a Zelda fan. So, so when the Mario Brothers movie came out, which I think was 1994, 96 or some shit like yeah. that, you got to think that, like, yeah, people might have been doing that, but in the movie industry, they always look down on the gaming. They've all been older and that, but now the gaming generation is coming yeah, through. Like, they're becoming MPs. A, a perfect, they'll be presidents. There's, there's, and a, couple, there's a couple of perfect everything. examples to, to, for terrible, terrible uh, t- uh, game translation. I mean, it's fucking lords, but I mean, massive mainstream ones. Uh, I mean, Huey Ball has tried his hardest to make loads. I mean, he did Postal, he did uh, Far Cry. The Far Cry movie was pretty close to the original Far Cry film. movie. Yeah, pretty close to the Far Cry film. Yeah, the, the, the game, the original uh, Well, game. The, the guy uh, who's doing, uh, is it Warcraft? Warcraft. Well, Warcraft. Yeah. He, apparently, he, he had a fucking guild for fucking Yo, years this and shit. So like, that, that, he's really into it. That's just going to be fan service to football. Yeah. But, but you have a look at, like, so Mario comes out. Big, 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 big. It was a fucking huge release. Mm. Missed the point. Mm. Oh, uh, God, yeah. Ma- uh, Max Payne, which would, should have made a really fucking good... I still haven't watched that, you know. Oh, it's awful. You know why it's awful? The director said, I'm going to play the game. I don't play games. <laughs> right? M- Ma- um, what's his name now? Fucking... Um, Marky Mark Wahlberg plays Max Payne. Mm. Right, right, right okay. Yeah. In an interview, they said, so do you play the games? And so, I don't have fucking time to play games. They're for kids. I don't know. So he doesn't know the character. doesn't yeah. know the character. All he's got is a script. That's how he knows the character. The script writer got bullet points of what Max Payne is. Right, so yeah. they missed the point of him. Like, the yeah. only level of Max Payne is you come home from a day's work and you find your kid and your wife dead. I mean, it's harsh. It's, it's, hor- it's a bit like Punisher, but it's dark. It's really yeah, fucking something. dark. And, and then you, yeah. you're going through his mental breakdown and like, they missed the entire point of it all. Yeah, like, he's going mental entire- throughout the That was a mass- massive release. They really fucking pushed and it's that. it's really dark. they missed the entire <laughs> it's point really of dark. it. really dark. No, Max Payne would make a good fucking film. No, oh, God, yeah. It's, it, I mean, they've storyboarded the cutscenes for you. Yeah, because you it's a just comic book. do that. Just do that. Just do that. Yeah, it's and, dumb. And yeah. so, like, then they did that. Watch and then I think the next biggest fucking thing. I mean, the good thing is, is you have somebody like um, Vin Diesel out there. Vin Diesel fucking loves games. So much so that he made wow. Escape from Butcher's Bay yeah. part of the canon. Yeah. He was like, you play this, the this ri- leads into Pitch Black. The Riddick game was the fucking... The Riddick game is fucking He's brilliant. part of the fucking whole thing, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's part of the canon. If you play that, then you meant to watch Pitch Black And it was that. really good. Then you meant to watch Dark Fury, the cartoon, because he was like, oh, I love cartoons. Let's make, let's make this series multimedia. So yeah, yeah. they did... They did uh, Escape from Butcher's Bay, then Pitch Black, then Dark Fury, then Chronicles of Riddick, uh, then I think he did an audio book, and then he did the uh, the new one, which is Riddick. And it's like that guy loves his games. That's the future, isn't so it? So much so that uh, the Last Witch Hunter is actually loosely based on uh, certain games because he mm. plays Dungeons and Dragons. Right. He, he right. actually sits there at tabletop Dungeons and Dragons. He plays yeah, that shit. He also is uh, lifelong. He, he's been playing World of Warcraft since it first came out and all yeah. that kind of shit. So, so you've it. got these people that are getting it now. So now is a good time because the adults in the industry. Have had this for well, us as childhood. Yeah. That's why things are getting better yeah, yeah, from our perspective, yeah. the way we see it. But yeah. that, that's like, you know, the um, Marvel Universe stuff. Yeah. But imagine that was with the games yeah. as well and everything. Imagine them doing a Legend of Zelda 1 movie. Yeah. Four years later, yeah, yeah. Legends of Zelda 2, a, a link to yeah, yeah. Five years later, <laughs> thing, thing, and they'll do all the games as movies, mm. but what they'll do is they'll know now well, to, to, like, to retweak a this shit, little yeah. bit here to yeah, yeah. imply what the almanac, the, that book that you've got that tells you everything about Zelda, They'll, right. they'll have a little, they'll deliberately put in uh, little uh, Easter eggs for those fans who be like, Man, that yeah. wasn't in the game, but yeah, they said that. That's the Lord it, now. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have this, uh, you know, stuff like that. Uh, even, even more exciting yeah. movie news. Uh, we have um, a couple of Atari games, fucking old ones as well, being made into movies somehow. Uh, Centipede okay. and Missile Command movie deals. These are happening. They don't know who's directing them or who's writing the script or I have no fucking idea how this will work. Command. Is that the one where... Uh, in, in our cage you uh, have a rollerball. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, of roll ball, missiles coming out. Yeah. Know, and you roll and you aim and you shoot. It's very descriptive. Yeah, it does, yeah. <laughs> you know, he's coming down and you go, and he causes an explosion in front of it and it blows up. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Um, so, yeah. Um, Great movie. Well, that's been in talks for ages. You don't remember that they were meant to be doing, um, they were meant to be doing a Dirty Dancing RPG. You can go and Google this shit. Dirty Dancing RPG and a Sims movie. Now, how the fuck do you do a Sims movie? It's just a movie then, isn't it? But then again, I said, how the fuck do you do uh, an Angry Birds movie? And the Angry Birds movie is out today. Yeah. They've done it. Somehow. Somehow they've done it. They've just gone, fuck it. Because there is no lore to uh, Angry Birds. So, so they much. just make it, well, that's, they can do anything then, can't they? they? As long anything. as they fly at some, at but, some point. Yeah, yeah. Tick. Well done. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, is that, is that the news abused? It's, it's been abused, my right. friend. We'll have to move on to... They released it. Oh, this is where I get to have a bit of a break. Coming up this week. Tomorrow, Tuesday, 17th, Homefront. The Revolution coming out on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. No, oh. again, gotta avoid. Uh, Life goes on. Call on. Done to death coming out on PS4 and PC. Is that what it's called? Yeah. What? It was quite good. Uh, <laughs> I like it. My night job coming out on the PS4. Uh, Shadwen coming out on the PS4 and PC. We had a guy on our Facebook group. Called Shadwen, who used to just keep advertising his Twitch streams all the all time, right. and you booted him. Right, all right. That sounds like me. Uh, yeah, yeah <laughs> fair enough. We just need to get rid of Adam Hurd now. You don't uh, want to be boring, do we? <laughs> it's gotta be soft fun. Soft Body, PS4, PC, Valkyrie, Valkyria Chronicles Remastered, PS4, and Shadow of the Beast. That's all out tomorrow. Wednesday, Duskers for the PC. Thursday, Last Fight for the PC. And that's it. Right now, all gone. Done. That was Dude, it. I'm dusted. So, uh, let's get on to a voice of Da Peeps in your face and your ear holes. It's Darwin. Wait for it. Oh. Right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Voice of the pops. I've changed it a little bit. Well, I haven't really. I've just made it easier for it's myself. Easier for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Paul Ashton. Pass. Pass. The pass attack. You missed Friday. No, all on Friday when I had a look. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Thursday nineteenth. If, if there is some stuff though, we get up there. Write yeah. it. Write it up. We, we, we do miss things and and if you've got any good sites to go to, we can get all this. Um, recommend. Ah, it is now. Fire Emblem. Yeah. Oh, wow. Big deal. What? Fire Emblem. Oh, I've never heard of it. <laughs> Who? <laughs> what Emblem? <laughs> um, right, so Paul Ashton Pash. Um, do you want to know what ultimate respect is? Oh. Yes, please. I was intrigued at this point. No, I <laughs> What is ultimate respect? This is ultimate respect, right? Uh, when your five-year-old son is playing Star Wars Battlefront, fighter squadron mode, and he manages to pick up the coveted Millennium Falcon token. He looks at the score, sees his side are almost doomed, passes me the pass, not me, Pash, and says, Daddy, you do it. That's that the is. call, that's the call. That, that is, is ultimate respect. It's not only ultimate respect, it's, it's a, it, it just, oh. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful it's thing. It's a bonding experience as well. It's a beautiful well, thing on many, many levels. Yeah, yeah. Because not only that, you basically, you've been beckoned by Star Wars. Yeah. We need you <laughs> yeah. to win this fight for us. 
Destiny. Our was, pilots was the, the Falcon. Was that the song that was going on in your head when he said Destiny. it? <laughs> <laughs> Even though that's not yeah, that's actually the fucking prequel tunes. But still, yeah. So, Whatever. So you, you've got the fact that your son's asking you. Yeah. But it's also this heroic question. Yeah. Please. You feel like a Jedi. You are the saviour of the rebellion. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. That is really cool. And I bet with the music, because the music on that game and the sound effects oh, on that game, and the fact that you were behind, I bet your heart would pound it like fuck. You know when your son's watching you, and you're like, oh, I'm in the Millennium Falcon, I've just got to, I want to get an yeah, don't fail. I want don't to get fail. an Oh, yeah. I can't do. Did oh, you, what um, amazing. Did you succeed, actually? Did you Did you turn it round? The chosen one. Uh, call Goff, or Guff, or Gif, as we like to call it. Show me guess. Uh... So he was loving the division to begin with, um, and now he just finds it boring. Yeah, uh, yeah. I can imagine that. I went right round to Mick's house and we were playing it a little bit, and I only play it a little bit whenever I go around, and I got fatigued. With right. It. I was like, honestly, I was fatigued. Oh, like... <sighs> so he got well getting that far. Then I, I assume he's put a few hours in. Yeah, quite a few. Um, John loves it though. John, John's been playing it for a while. Right. Right, right. I do know um, Christopher Patton. Uh, oh, he just spent the last few days playing all the old Nintendo games. NES, NES, N64, and the Cube. Let's not forget the Cube. Let's not forget the Cube. Ah, beautiful controller. Uh, I felt like a kid at Christmas, pretty much having every single Nintendo game ever, thanks to Kenny. Uh, thanks, Kenny. Has them. Uh, I assume so, yeah. Uh, you are a legend. So, so you add all the consoles and stuff? or is Probably this, not. Emulators. Some, you want to emulate that, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got a laptop in there that's got every game yeah, on yeah. the planet if you want it. You kind of get... It's weird though, when you've got it all, you, don't you stop play it. giving a shit. You're like, yeah, you play it. it. That, well, that's what we did with the early episodes, like through uh, episode 4 through to 15, 16, when we twatted every console. Yeah. And we're like, you know what, these games are shit. Because it's like when you got that like, Xbox with we, we everything on. Yeah. It was great at first because you're like, oh, we can try this, we can try that. And, you, and then after a bit, you're like, you sat there months later and you haven't fucking touched it. it. And you've got like on. thousands of games. Yeah, literally we have 5,000 games. Yeah. Right. And you're like, why am I not touching it? I'm like, well, I don't know, I, just, I don't care actually. Yeah. <laughs> now that I've got well, it. I ended up, I ended up playing um, Death Jam Fight for Vendetta because I got that and I'm like, oh, I'll play that instead. Yeah. No, Fight for yeah. New York, sorry. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because yeah. then yeah, I had the narrative. And I realised that the pick up and play games are all good for pick up and play, mm. but when you've got an option of 5,000 of them, that pick up and play aspect of it then becomes a little bit mundane because you never feel like you're going to get better at anything unless you find a game and you sit at it. And if you sit at that one game, you feel like you're missing out all the other on games. On the other games, yeah. You must be one yeah. day that's better than this one. Yeah. So you, you've got this kind of. You've got of, too much stuff. You've got too much yeah. stuff. It's like, going, yeah, it's like going to a buffet and saying, right, okay, eat, all right. Just have that one thing. Yeah. Oh, but there's all this other stuff going on. And you get a load, don't you? Yeah, you get so a load, you don't really enjoy, enjoy anything because you're shoving it all in. It's it. like food. And by the time you want to go back and try that thing that you really, really like, it's gone. Yeah. That's the gaming buffies. Ooh. Mm. Uh, talking of uh, gaming buffies, uh, Graham Daly. Uh, he's a little bit confused. Uh, I think by the price of uh, Crash Bandicoot, I assume this is on eBay. Yes. Um, the Wrath of Cortex Xbox Classic. It's an Xbox Classic box, I yeah. assume. Uh, it's one hundred and seventeen pounds ninety pence. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is like, I think everybody rushed out and burnt that. Uh, it's, <laughs> so it's, it probably is. It's, a, for that it's, it's, it's one of those. I again, it's down to personal choice, right? I don't know if you've ever played a Crash Bandicoot game. I've never been interested. They're shite. Yeah. They are shite. The PlayStation One's equivalent of your. Uh, Mario 64. Oh, it must be shy then. But everybody had a PlayStation 1, so that was what you had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it wasn't like that, you were a corridor like runner. making the best out of a bad you, situation. You were a corridor runner, so... Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's worth I've about a tenner. Them. There you go. There's loads of on here that sold for about that. Uh, right. It's just someone's crazy listing. All right, fair enough. There we go. It's, uh, it's terrible. It's a terrible, terrible, terrible game. Why don't you try the look with this stuff, though? Because people do it. Because you love, you love first-time people coming into... Going, I like games. I want to collect games. Xbox well, that must Prime. be rare. Oh, yeah. that must be rare. I'll yeah. buy that. Must be a good price. 
Yeah, but we're all sensible enough to check the well, previous. people aren't. Collectors. Some aren't, yeah. Collectors aren't. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I will say. Uh, Johnny Floyd, king of memes. King of the memelings. There was quite a few memes, actually. I, I don't really bother with memes anymore, because it's hard to describe. But, uh, hopefully, we'll be able to sort of show them one day, like in background with some of just sort of going, because some of them are pretty good. But, um, yeah, there are a few people put memes on there. Uh, so that's cool, but this one uh, I can read, so it's brilliant. Uh, this is DLC in reality. Oh, real life DLC in the real world. In the real world. Uh, when she's about to come, go go with that. <laughs> pull out and tell her she needs to purchase a season pass to get the full experience. She'll say the orgasm is a lie, which is another game you mean. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, crush your entire evening. <laughs> oh. Oh. Melissa Marks. Uh, all the way from Australia land. All the way from Australia, Australia land. Can't speak. Oh, oh, this was fucking brilliant. I only watched it today. I just got around to watch it. Oh, the uh, Lee Hard Castle. Doom Claymation. Yeah. Um, Doom, it's like the new Doom though, isn't it? Because they're yeah, yeah. tearing off the face and stuff, and it's done in sort of claymation. It looks oh, fucking brilliant. Pretty sure it's relatively old, is that, you know? Is I, it an old? I feel like I've seen it before, unless he's done another, um, uh, it's best in the Temple Run, but older, which is Crash Bandicoot. Um, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah Lee Hardcastle, it's from around here. Is he, it? He, yeah, he does uh, lots and lots and lots of claymation animations, and he, he might have done. It might have done one for the earlier June, but I feel as though I've seen something very similar before. But I watched that, it's fucking brilliant. It's really it's good. Brilliant. And I kind of want to play Doom like that. It looks fucking amazing. If they yeah. could make a game like that. Well, they did do, didn't that they? That art style. Clay Fighters. Clay Fight, yeah, but you know. There's a limit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it looks really fucking good. Um, okay, so I posted a bit of a quiz thing that um, I stumbled on or probably yeah, nicked yeah. off someone, I can't remember. Um, and. It is how many of these 90s video game characters can you name? And there's a lot of people who got a bit comp competitive. I yeah. mean, I didn't, I didn't know the Banjo Kazooie ones, uh, not Banjo Kazooie, the um, Crash Bandicoot ones. I think they were Crash, Crash Bandicoot ones because I didn't know them, so I just got 30 or whatever. Because I didn't know any of them. I think, I think you finally got 28 and I got 30. Um, it tells you. No, it says, um, it says, when you share it, it says, I got 23, right? But it says that oh, every right. time someone oh, shares right, it. Oh, right, fair enough. That's yeah. why they're sharing it. Yeah, every oh, time. Yeah, you, yeah. Oh, you can't scroll down, I think. Yeah, yeah I'll just use the pictures. Also, yeah, no, you probably, I think you probably did get 30. I, think I, I, got, I got 30, I, th yeah. I think I got, like, one or two more than you, because I felt quite smug on it. Right, yeah. right, right. But right, they right. were mainly depressed. No, it's got 30, but when you share it, it says, it's like a bullshit thing. It says, I, I got 23. It's trying to make you competitive. Yeah, you know, I can talk. Yeah, yeah, I can be 23, but yeah, I didn't get 23. I got 30. And um, it kind of annoyed me that when I saw it afterwards. <laughs> but yeah, um, so it got very competitive, and um, somebody got 31 and 33, and Adam Heard obviously got 35. <laughs> obviously, Adam Heard, he didn't, he didn't do it. He just said, I got 35 because like, I'm Adam Heard, and uh, I'm an antagonistic cunt. <laughs> and it, but. Christopher Billsborough, our very own, Show Me Games very own reviewer, Christopher Billsborough. Ooh. He's done a couple of reviews for us, go and take them on. That's excellent. What reviews were they? It was Solus Project. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, yes. And uh, the DLC for Fallout 4. Oh, yes. Yeah, very good. Uh, thank you very much. Excellent. Uh, well, he got 37 out of 35. That's really fucking good. Yeah. That's probably the best you can get. I don't think it's a big that. Like, 100%. It was, for some reason, it looks a bit scribbled on. No, no, I think that's just but the I think pic it's pi pixel resolution legit. of your phone. Yeah. He said how to do it, though, was something to do with, like, rest a five pence piece on the top of your phone. Yeah, I tried it, but I don't have five pence piece. And that makes it Japanese. I think yeah. The weight makes it think it's a Japanese phone, and then that does something else and makes it... Seems legit. Yeah, so seems legit. try that five p go on your phone. Mm -hmm. Be all over that shit. Seems, seems legit. <laughs> legit. Uh Lewis Waddington. Wiggle Waggle Waddington. He's, he's selling games, go to Gamer. Go to gamer. <laughs> he show me games and you'll get a discount. He's got Doom, Doom's there. You know what, he's got it all, if you want yeah, it. He'll, he'll arrive. Um, yeah, he'll get some early, doesn't he? Yeah, he um, does, Kenny Haslam. Miss show me games, very own Kenny Haslam. Uh, oh, I'll say that, he has some review there for a while. So, 
he's, he's taking a picture of the beast in all its glory. Um, <laughs> And he's tagged Chris Broderick in it, so I don't know what's going on there. Well, I think <laughs> Dark Side is. It's not a picture of his it. willy. I know it says the beast in all its glory, but he, that's not it. It's basically the like your Mega Drive, your Mega CD, and 32X all connected together, which is oh, like shakalaka, rude boy. an exciting sight, but the game's a shit on. Absolutely <laughs> terrible. Absolutely but, terrible. He's also put, you can't forget his little brother, the Multi Mega. Yeah, which is basically the Mega Drive 3, 4. Has yeah. it got all the shit in? Yeah, yeah. I think I vaguely remember Yeah, they run everything. It, it came, that got released just before the Sega Saturn. Right. So it's all that built into a streamlined thing instead of having to get all the Yeah, extras. but the Sega Saturn were the same price. So it was like, right, do you get that or do you wait two months and get the Sega Saturn? I get Saturn. the Sega Saturn, This, is, this yeah. is one of the many reasons why Sega ended up killing themselves. That is a bit daft, yeah. They killed themselves they by... They couldn't make their mind up what yeah, the fuck they were doing. Didn't, didn't know, <laughs> they, they wanted to please all the people all the time. Uh, Chris Broderick, Dark brothers, Broderick, otherwise known as Darksiders Review, Broderick. Uh, so he posted the the first trailer for the Assassin's Creed uh, movie. Excellent. What, what, you want a micro like? review of that? It looks shit. It's um, but it looks Assassin's Creedy, I suppose. Is what I took from it. Yeah, which looks shit. I feel yeah, as though I'm gonna play it. The more I feel as though half of that film is gonna be follow missions. Oh god. He's going to follow him because he has to eavesdrop, doesn't he? Possibly. He That's... said something like, I can't remember the percentage now, but something like 65% is in modern times now. And, well, no, it's going to be slight future, isn't it? In the future, and then the rest is in the past. I don't know. So they missed the point. All the things that people hate about Assassin's yeah. Creed, which is modern times. They hate the future, modern, whatever they it is. They just times. hate the modern times, yeah. though. And I don't blame them, because it's shit. They don't put any well, effort in it. It should be amazing, but it's shit. Well, that's what that's what I was saying. I, I reckon Watch Dogs is Assassin's Creed now. Yeah. Because he's got all he's, all yeah. these are, this parkour to him. And then yeah. everything else is hacking, he's using the modern That'd day system. That'd be quite system. cool, actually, if the Watch And if you the look at the back of Aiden, uh, I think it's called Aiden Pierce. No, yeah, pretty sure it's called Aiden Pierce. What's his bollocks, we'll call it. Yeah, and you look at the back of his jacket and he has this, the stitching on it is this A. Right. He's it's got a very long and coat, and it's got a big V up the back, V slit up the back, which is like every Assassin's Creed thing. It's very long, hides his face. He's got a baseball cap on, it's not quite the point he's big. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's the same it's fucking the modern game, Which is one of the reasons why I got so bored with fucking uh, Watch Dogs, because uh, it was nice, some of the combat was really good with the hacking and stuff, and then it just got monotonous, and it just felt like a shit Assassin's Creed game. Yeah. Yeah. I had a quick dick around, but yeah, just like I just didn't fancy it, because so, it looked shit so, so, so the movie put me off by looking too much like an Assassin's Creed game. Yeah, I'd rather play it. I would rather play yeah. it. Um, Okay, Alex Clark. Mr. Um, Clark. It's, oh, this was really funny. Um, but I don't know, I found it funny. Which but it's, it? it's basically, I think it's I think it's Skyrim. Is that is this like Skyrim? That's Skyrim, yeah. Right, he's, these guys have just set up a, a stream yeah. and they spent uh, three hours right. trying to get, a, they had cabbages right. and they were just throwing them off a roof to hit this other roof right. to land in a bucket that was really small and it oh, was right, right down so, there. You know right. I mean, just imagine a bucket. So it's a bit like, right those, it's a bit like those ping pong challenges, you know when you bounce the ping pong balls? Yeah. But it's in scale. It fucking feels like it's a really long way away and like you're just lobbing a football for miles, I suppose. Right. But he's using that power to yeah. spit it out and then eventually drop it to a bucket. And they did it a ridiculous amount of times. It took them three hours, and they eventually got it in, right. and it looks so small, the bucket, so it's like, yeah, brilliant. fucking hell. Fucking I don't awesome. know why they did that, but, but the, fun. their excitement when they did it, oh, yeah, they, were, hours. Fucking, they were like, oh my god, they were jumping around like fucking lunatics. There's other people at the office going, wow, what have you done? What's going on? <laughs> Cabbage in the bucket! <laughs> like, you fucking mental! <laughs> Oh, it's really good, because uh, the board are beforehand. Oh, yeah, yeah. Three hours of that shit. Fuck me. You want to start off with so much energy, like, ha! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here yeah. we go, here we go. Sounds like a fun idea. An hour later. <laughs> board now, yeah. But, yeah, cabbage is a lettuce or whatever they use. Yeah, brilliant. Random. Uh, Tom O'Toole. Tom uh, O'Toole. I think Civilization Games. Um, yeah. I think there's only one coming out, yeah. Yes, there is. Just been confirmed for October. Um, 
but he's saying like he's, he loves them. He's, he's put like thousands of hours into those games, so he's excited about that. Uh, Jack Taylor, Jackie, Jackie, this, Jackie boy Taylor. This looks really good. It's an old game. Is this the? Oh yeah, I watched it just before he came on. Actually, yeah. right. It's um, what's it called? Uh, Wade, Wade Hickston. Yeah, yeah. Counter Punch. So the Game Boy Advance. Um, and he's just posted like a playthrough, but I mean, it looks, it's like a punch out It's a punch out with a proper story. But it's got a story that looks kind of cool. It's ridiculous, yeah. Is it? Because I, I was sort of skipping through it, um, and I thought that was kind of funny. And, and the music reminded me of um, Hotline Miami or something. Yeah, it yeah. was fucking stupid music, like over the top cool. And it just looks good, but it is punch out. It is definitely punch out. But, yeah. He actually looks fun. It looks alright, yeah. It looks yeah. like they've done slightly different things with it. Yeah, yeah. Looks good. Oh, worth checking out. Uh, Johnny Floyd. Oh, yeah, there was. He's King of Beans. Posted a picture, really, but it's. Um, there was a lot of stuff about this um, Call of Duty trailer. Reveal yeah. trailer versus the Battlefield 1. Yes, this battle actually means nothing. Call of Duty is still going to sell like Angus. Oh, so God, it's yeah. It's going to sell like fuck. It was like. The Call of Duty 1 was like the most. Thumbs down thing on fucking YouTube, YouTube ever. 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 Yeah. You still know it'll sell a ridiculous Oh, yeah. Amount, but it's like a real thing. Just be, you've got a lot of people just jumping on bandwagon and just going, okay, thumbs down. I did it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you got to. Yeah, I, I did it on Battlefield 1 as well. You've got to. Uh, so, we've already mentioned the Game Awards, but if you want to uh, check out the group and uh, just vote for your stuff on there, just, yeah. just join them. Add stuff if, if what you want to vote for yeah. is not there, please. If your game add it. isn't there. Hopefully, you, you it it. we should be getting it up and running at the end of June after mm. E3. Um, so, yeah, stick at it. Come on, come on, click have on it. Have it. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. And if your friends are my friends, tell them get again. Get new friends. <laughs> my friends are shit. Right, and that is that for the Vops. We've been Vopped. So uh, we're going to go. In pausing. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Right, um, an old friend of mine, Paul Bean, has a YouTube channel. It's called The Modified Vapor. Go and check him out. If you do go and check him out, make sure you comment that you come from Show Me Games and suggest that he subscribes and promotes us because we've done him. Check our shit out. Go check him. So if you're into your vaping, go and yeah. check him. We've got the vapors. Go, goes and reviews all them. We know, the we, we know we've got some vapors right there in the comment right now. Uh, Game Awards, we've already mentioned it. Go and get everybody on that shit. We need, we need people there. We did that after we fucking limped through this Game Awards. The next Game Awards should be bigger, better, stronger, and hopefully with an audience and a, a crowd. And if, if yeah. we do it really well and you promote everything, hopefully we'll have a special people table. And yeah, that's where people will people dribble. Table. And we'll give you a free bib. But if you're a Patreon, <laughs> you, we'll, we'll put you on that table. It won't be on this Game Awards. It'll probably be the next one. So, um, yeah. so yeah, tell people about that kind of stuff. Uh, we will be covering E3 yet again, which is where Ariane first joined us uh, last year E3. So I've been 12 months, Ariane, that you've been with us. Oh, bless you. Oh, that's a bit gropey, isn't that it? That was a bit gropey, oh. a bit, bit touchy-feely. I just might be getting jealous. Right, we'll just stick one finger in one and one finger in another. <laughs> oh! Right, okay, um, so <laughs> we will be covering E3. Hopefully we'll have a couple more people around, so... Yeah. Yeah. Um, and please, 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 please. Uh, we've got all this shit up here, which we go through all the time. And for those people who watch it on YouTube, please click subscribe. And those people who aren't watching, who are actually, well, who are watching and uh, who are already subscribed, please just ask your friends to subscribe to us. I know it sounds like it sounds like silliness, but if you can get the subscribers there, then. YouTube will help us do the rest, you see. It's just uh, it's just how, how things go. YouTube have got mental lately. YouTube is a shithole of a place. They've been really weird with the views and stuff. Yes, they are. Uh, we had 60-odd views on the most recent one, and then I checked it today. We're on 30-odd. Yeah. It's fucking weird, and it's done that on a few ones. Yeah, we it's, it's mental. So, if you're out there, this is another reason why the subscribing and liking will... Will work because these these views are up and down. I, can, I mean, you can't go to YouTube and say, you know, that view that I just did. Yeah, well, I would rather have that never existed. 
<laughs> well, maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe, maybe they're emailing him. Maybe if if if, if 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 you're on Google Chrome, right? Maybe it just goes off their history. Right. So if somebody goes on and goes, tell your history. Oh. <laughs> Well, like, well, everyone's everyone denying that they're watching it. Oh, they talk about it. They'll, they'll leave all the dog porn on there. <laughs> some vagina too much, but yeah, the dog porn, that's fine. Well, that's fine. So we'll get we'll, dog porn on next time. We'll, we'll do, yeah. Yeah, we'll do. We'll, we'll slip a nip and accidentally on purpose drop her balls out and do a willy copter. But thank you very much for watching. Uh, thanks for watching on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, like I say, click like and subscribe. If you're watching it live, which you people are over there in the chat, thank Cheers you very guys, much for chatting. Thanks for chatting. That's fucking awesome. Sorry that awesome we missed news. some of your comments. Um, yeah, but that's because uh, it's basically an old version. Top around. Ooh, is he the guy that works at Totally Wicked? Yes, he is. He's Paul Bean. Um, it is uh, Warren Spencer's cousin. Uh, and I, I used to know him a few years ago, and I've lost contact with him and stuff like that. Cool guy. Check him out. So, uh, yeah, remember if you go onto his channel, do comment. Show me games, don't make Show me games, show me games, show me games. Show me games, show me games, show me games. Show me games, show me games. Show me games. Show me games. Show me games. Where he goes, thank you very much about Show me games. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> always speak in Show me games. Almost, yeah, use Show me games as punctuation. Yeah. So, it would be quite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, punctuation. Yeah. Show me so, games is now punctuation. So, there we go. Show me games. Show me games. Uh, so, uh, uh, call on show again. Uh, so yeah, so thank you very much for watching and um, all that shit. So I'll see you later. See you later. Do we not have any Snoop Dogg final thoughts? Snoop Dogg, uh, final thoughts. Let me think. Let me think. 